Well, it's a dream come true for a lot of these truckers. Jerry Rice, owner and operator of Chef Driven DC, who's been in the food business for over 18 years, says he wouldn't have it any other way. So tell me, you said you've been in, you've been in the business, in the food business for 18 years. What made you come on over to the food truck side? Uh, these are cheaper than restaurants. Uh, I know the landlord personally. Um, it's, uh, if the location sucks, change. In my waterfront, yeah. Can I be in the mountains? Yeah. I mean, you know, can we do events like this where you have 40 plus trucks? Yeah. DC Food Truck Association. I mean, we're legit. Um, we're eventually going to be taxed starting October 1st. We're all for it. We're not the uh, sidewalk hot dog vendor anymore. I mean, we branched out. I mean, there's millions of dollars of trucks here. Um, I don't think any two concepts are the same. Chef Driven DC is the newbie on the block as far as DC food trucks. And when you say newbie, how long have you been in existence? Four weeks. This is the, the end of my fourth week. Um, I have a new concept which rotates menus out. I have a seasonal menu, seasonal product on my truck. I change everything up every week. Custom made, these trucks are the real deal inside. As Jerry and his crew prepared me an order of the truck's tasty cornmeal crusted oyster tacos. Hey, those tacos were tasty, but it was hot out here, y'all. And I just got wind that the cow was here, scooping up their mountain-sized, super premium, homemade hand-dipped ice cream. I think I'm gonna try the coffee Oreo. All right, you wanna single Cool me down. <laughs> you want a single or double? Single. All right. That's enough. That's your money's worth. Oh, that is a lot. Wow. <laughs> That's a single scoop, you guys. That is a single scoop of the coffee Oreo. In the meantime, while I was trying to cool down a bit, things were really heating up as the lines grew longer and Cinco de Mayo was in full food truck fiesta swing. This is good, this is good. Now historians report that it was in 1866 when Texas Ranger Charles Goodnight knew a good opportunity when he saw one and invented the first mobile food business, the chuck wagon. That fed all those hungry cowboys who worked and traveled grueling cattle drives. And over the years, the food truck business has grown into a Meals on Wheels bonanza. The festival's been a win-win for you, huh? Yes. yes. It's all food. Yep. And, and, <laughs> and, and beer. Yeah. And, and, and music. Beer. Yeah. Wow. So how many trucks have you guys hit so far? <laughs> I guess we've all done three. Three counting the beer. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Three, three yeah. counting the beer. Well, huh? the worst part, we walked and looked at every single we menu scouted. before we started. Uh, okay. So you guys kind of scoped the whole place out before you Absolutely. actually right. went on with right. to attack. And like, I wanted something from every truck. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> That's why they have an ATM machine right there in the middle. I got no with my stomach. I know, I know. Okay, so we've gone to a couple of trucks. Which one is the favorite so far? The Korean. The Takarian. Takarian. Ah, yeah. Ah. For me. Yeah, and there's a little history behind that. So would you say that's kind that's that's authentic as 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 you've experienced? Well, it's close. <laughs> it's it's real close. Close and bad. Yeah. So it's worth it's worth waiting in the line. It was worth waiting in the line. Coming up, I'm getting in line for some Korean barbecue style tacos.
Hug you, Dad.